Hi, everybody. <laughs> There's a saying, for every yes, season doctor. it turns, and time for every purpose under yes, heaven. Doctor, this past week has been a transition of seasons, mm -hmm. Wait. from a season of life to a season of death. Do you hear this? On May 9th, oh. I lost a very dear person in my life, my <laughs> grandmother. And my grandmother was a beautiful, beautiful human being. She never, a day in her life, thought about me as being born with autism or being born with a condition of autism. She only saw me for who I was, which is a human being. She loved my mother and she loved me in particular. It is so remarkable that she always told the family members about me through Christmas cards, through letters, through any accomplishments I made. I had known for some time that she was ill, but I didn't know how bad. So as best as I could, I was able to travel down there and see her as best as I could. I mean, whenever I had the chance. But I always try to keep in touch too, like with Christmas cards. And I always called her on the phone. Just to say hello. The very day that my grandmother died was raining. It was a spring rain. And I think for me it was like the earth crying. Crying not just for me, but for every member of my family. I can tell you that my grandmother was such a beautiful human being. She was warm, she was very considerate, and she never ever again, like I stated, cared that I was autistic. I have so much appreciation for my grandmother. But it still is like a hole in my heart today that she's gone. Every night I cry myself to sleep thinking about her and it breaks my heart. That's why I haven't been on this past week and I want to say to all of you thank you for thinking about where I was. But I just wanted you to know about what happened. Both my mother and I really loved her, and she was 